Hello and welcome back. I just wanted to do a quick update video today because I'm currently in between books. Um, I finished that Derren Brown autobiography uh, about a week ago that I did a review for and I've got another couple of books that I'm about to read which I'll get into in a moment but I'm kind of in between projects and just wanted to give you a little update really. I want to start reviewing short stories on this channel and I've been review I've been reading a few short stories lately in the hope of finding something good to to do a, a review for but everything I'm reading is quite mediocre really quite it's like substandard. I don't know why um, I'm getting these stories from from certain online magazines like horror magazines but they're just they're just not that good i only want to review stuff that i really like like some really decent material so so far i haven't found it um what i will say though is one of my own short stories has just been accepted uh, into a certain online magazine uh it, it's a story called Oh, what's it called now? Buried Memory. I wrote a short story called Buried Memory and I submitted it to, a, to an online horror magazine and they've accepted it. Um, a kind of... Well, one of my other stories was published with them before or, or their sister magazine but they're, they're going to publish my short story in their Halloween special so it's, it's going to be a, a good few mon months yet but um, I'll make a video for that just prior to the publication date, just to remind you. But um, yeah, so I, I'm kind of in between books. I'm not. I'm not really reading anything at the moment. Um, there, there are two books that I'm about to read, though. Um, the first one is *The Prospect of Immortality* by Robert Ettinger. Now, this book is all about cryonics. And Robert Ettinger is actually the founder of the Cryonics Institute in Michigan. This is going to be a special book for me because I'm actually a member of the Cryonics Institute. I've actually signed up for Cryonics. And this book, The Prospect of Immortality, this is like the book when it comes to cryonics. It was written decades ago. It's either, it either written in the 60s or the 70s. And um, Robert Ettinger, he's, he's actually in stasis now. He's frozen in, in, this, in this facility in Michigan. And I can't wait to kind of uh, get into this one to see what it's all about. I know all about cryonics, but it'll be good to read the book that's, that was actually written by the, the founding father of, of the Cryonics Institute. I'm, I'm quite I'm quite skeptical about the whole cryonics thing, even though I'm a member. I signed up for it in 2015, done all the paperwork and stuff. But uh, for me, it's it's just something that's kind of worth a go. I'm I'm not sure whether it'll work or not. I'm not sure whether it's a good idea or not. There, there are certain risks, but at the moment, you know, I'm signed up for it and. I probably will go ahead with it, you know. So th this, this will be a good book for me, The, the Prospect of Immortality. So I'm, I'm going to be doing a review for this book in the upcoming weeks, I don't, maybe two or three weeks. And another book that I'm about to read, which I really can't wait to read as well, is Sapiens by somebody with a hard name to pronounce, Harari or something. It, you can see it on the image that I'm going to put up here. Um, this, the reviews for this book are amazing. It, it's, it's a fairly new book. It's published a few years ago, but it's, it's fairly new. And it's all about human evolution, which I am fascinated by. This is like my topic. I, I love reading about human evolution and how we evolved from animals and as far as I can tell, this book is like up there with Richard Dawkins' books, if if not higher up. You know, the, the reviews for it speak volumes. 
Um, I've put off reading this book for quite a while because I've just been too tight to buy it, quite frankly. It's quite an expensive book, but I think this weekend I'm going to bite the bullet and just buy myself the paperback copy as well. And that, that's, that's even more special for me because I, these days I usually read on a Kindle device, which is not quite the same, but I'm actually going to buy the paperback of Sapiens. So it's, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, it's a big book though, so I don't know how long it'll be before the review comes out for it. I think I might actually read Sapiens and the Prospect of Immortality simultaneously at, at the same time. I never used to do this, I used to just read one book at a time, but I think there are actually benefits to reading two books at the same time. If you get slightly bored with one book, you can just go to the other book and vice versa. And it just kind of uh, mixes things up a bit. So I think basically, in a nutshell, that this weekend I'm going to start reading the two books. And I estimate that I'll, I'll be finished at least with one of them in about two weeks or two and a half weeks and I'll be putting a review up on here uh, for you guys to see. So that's it really. Um, two upcoming projects there, Sapiens and the Cryonics book. So keep an eye out for them and thanks for watching. And also in, in the meantime, do check out my own book, uh, The Edge of Insanity, a book of disturbing tales. I've actually got some reviews for this book now on Amazon, which is quite exciting. Two, uh, two five-star reviews, so you can go and see them on, on Amazon. Uh, they, they've been left on, on two different Amazon sites, so dot, .com and .co.uk, which is a bit annoying, but there are two good reviews for my book now, so um, do give it a read. Uh, I've been getting good feedback on that. so. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and keep an eye out for my two upcoming reviews in the next couple of weeks or so. Thanks very much and see you again.